Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, welcome to my legal solving section. So, this is the, this uh three hundred ninety seven, uh integral uh integer replacement. Oh, so given the integer n, then you can replace the one of following. So, if n is even, then you can replace n divided by two. Okay, so that means if n is even, that's you. Uh, if n is even, right, then you don't have any way to do this. The only way you can do is divided by two. If n is odd, then you have two ways which. Uh, plus one or minus one. Okay, and you need to return the minimum number options uh, operations uh, such that n become one. Okay, so uh, n is eight is trivial, right? So just a four to one. Okay, so uh, which uh, this is a little bit difficult to prove, right? But hopefully you can easily say that if you, n is a power of two, then you can quickly go to one. Okay, so just by keep dividing by two, uh, you 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 can only divide it by two, right? Because by definition, it's and it's even, right? So in, in in this one, you don't have any choice, right? You always need to go to, uh, you just need to you you can only divide it by two, so there's no way that you can do other things. A tricky part is the seven, right? So seven has two ways. It seems like if you mine if you add one become eight, they become one. Okay, if minus one become six, then it can still become one. Okay, so it seems like for the seven that the, your answer is uh irrelevant for the first step. Okay, so uh, which makes a little bit stupid that let's write a code, right? Let's suppose answer is zero. Let's say n is not one, right? You, you, I mean, if n is one, you just return zero, right? If n is not one, then if n is even, then the only way you can do is divide by two. Okay, so here is the missing, the interesting part. It says that if n mod four is one, then you can, you, you must minus one. If n is mod one, is not one, then you should add one, okay? So exception, okay, so that is three. Okay, so then this is the answer. Okay. So uh, the problem, so this answer tell us what? Tell us that uh, let's, let's do some uh, theoretical understanding, see uh, why this is true. Okay, so the answer tell me what? Answer tell me that uh, basically if n is, so, so if n mod two, which is zero, and you, you, the only way you, you, you just divide it by two, right? But uh, there are two, so uh, so if you divide the n, n by four, then you only get, there are only four choices, right? So the first case is that four n, let's say, sorry, you can view that the n is, uh, let's say four k plus one, four k, four k plus one, four k plus two, or four k plus three. Okay, so this is even, right? So this guy can, there's no choice. So we don't we don't need to dis discuss this and then we don't need to discuss this. Okay, so we only need to discuss uh, 4K plus one and the 4K plus three. Okay, so the answer tell me that, uh, the answer tell me that uh, if 4K plus one, then I should go 4K and then go, go to K, right? Because I divided four. So this looks, I think for this one is very simple, right? You can just, since it's, you just add, once you delete one, then become even. Right, so this should be the fattest, that's the, the quickest way. But how about this? Why why this should add one? Right, not not minus one, right? Because if you add one, then become even. If you minus one, it still become even. So the, the only non-trivial part in this model is that why why four n plus three should add one. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, how I try to explain it in this video. Okay. So let's let's do this. So let's try to give a simple argument. Uh, so I would not say this is the proof, but I would say this is an interesting argument. So if you start from four k plus three, right, you have two ways. If you plus one, you become four and plus four, and then you you can mine divide by four, right? Because after two steps, it always become four k plus one. Okay, and then if minus one, you become four uh, k plus two. Okay, then uh, for this one, there is no way you only divide it by two become. Uh, 2k plus one. Okay, so now you still have two steps, right? So you can minus add one and minus one. So it become a 2k plus two. Then it takes one step, become k plus one. Okay, so, and for this one, uh, it's a uh, 2k, right? It takes one step to become k, okay? Also for this one, uh, you can go to k plus two or k plus k. Uh, minus one, add one. Okay, so now if I will, I will here, uh, how many times can I reach k plus one? Okay, so I, I take three steps to 
arrive k plus one, right? But in this case, I need one, two, three, four. Okay, so I need four steps to arrive k plus one. So the problem is that if you go these directions and up to here, uh, sorry, then up to the first round, if you want to, if your answer finally become, uh, so the problem is that suppose that if you arrive k plus one, then you get your final beautiful answer. Then it seems like that add one is the, 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 the better way, right? Because if you want to arrive k plus one, then you only need three steps and arrive k plus one. So it seems like that these, these directions may, should be better, right? Because it only takes three steps and this guy takes one, two, three, four, right? It takes four steps. And uh, the second is that those are the same, right? Suppose you only need, you want to arrive K. And then for this one, you need to this, 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 and so you need four steps to arrive K. But also for this one, it takes four steps. So mathematically, then you should take the upper one because the in average case, the upper one, the upper one is better. Yeah, so this is the proof. Okay, so this is the, so the, the problem for this one, uh, this problem is hard to think of the, this argument. But actually, this is the answer. Okay, so see you guys uh, next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.